Hello guys, welcome to the OPL assignment videos. So today we will discuss group A assignment number 5. So first of all we will read, we will see the uh, problem statement. So the problem statement is in this way that is we have to create a calculator, very basic calculator which will perform arithmetic operations. Okay, that is uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. But here what you want to do that is the program should take two operands from user and then it, it should perform the operation on those two operands depending upon the operator which is entered by user so here you have to use a switch statement uh, to select the operation so finally your your uh, program should display uh, this output that is uh, it should display enter first number comma then operator then comma second number so you should enter your first number 10 like this then your operator and then second number so after this it, it should display the answer that is division it should display here then again it should uh, ask for do another operation that is if you want to do you want to continue so if you enter s then again it should ask that is enter first number operator second number then you will enter again value then it will it will display the answer again and then if you when you press no uh, or n uh, key that time it should terminate the program so this is the problem statement that you uh, we want to uh, follow while writing the program so see uh, just remember that whenever you are going to write a C++ program or any OOP program so that time first task that you want to do that is you want to draw uh, you have to you should draw a class diagram so we'll see a class diagram for this uh, program first of all because after all we are going to uh, define a class here so we should draw a class diagram first so this is the class diagram so how to draw class diagram first of all just remember you should uh, draw a table with single column and three rows so in this uh, first row you should write the class name now the class name is now calculator so i'll use calculator class name here then after that in second row we know that uh, class is a um, class defined or class consists of member variables and member functions so i have to write the member variables first in my class diagram so that member variables are of private type now they should have private access specifier so i return a variable i have uh, considered one variable that is f number for first number then s number for second number and the type is provided here double and then i i declared a variable uh, of character type that is op which will be used for getting the operator symbol then i def i declared these member functions i have written the member functions inside this class diagram so the first member function is get values so this get values will be used for getting the inputs from the keyboard from the user okay after that get op uh, member function is defined here which will return which will return the character value means it, it, it is used to return this operator value here operator character so later on we'll see in this program what is the use of this operator okay because in switch case we need operator symbol so that operator symbols will get through this function after that the basic mathematics uh, or uh, arithmetic operations will be done with the help of these uh, member functions so we'll define a sum function sub function mul function and div function okay so this is the class diagram for your calculator program first okay so we'll now follow this class diagram and we'll write our uh, program our logic okay so i will use code blocks id so open the code blocks id then go to file menu then new and then select file okay so here i'll i will choose c c plus plus source and then click on go then choose c plus plus language here and press next button now it will ask for the file name with full path full path so here click on, on browse button and choose your path so i have already chosen my path on my directory so there i will give the name so basic calci dot cpp okay and now i I'll click on finish button okay now here first of all we'll do what we'll copy and paste our problem statement first so i'll copy and paste problem statement here first okay and now 
will write first will include i o stream okay so i o stream is why i o stream is required here because c plus plus in c plus plus we are going to perform input and output operation and that input or output of functions or the objects which we use for that that we will take from the i o stream class or i o stream header file after that i will use using in space study this is as per and this standard why to use this namespace here because we want to avoid the name conflictions the so name conflictions will be either for functions or variables that i want to avoid by using this namespace here okay so now we'll define a class that is calculator okay and with reference to our class diagram we'll use private access specifier here okay and then after that inside this private access specifier i will use double data type and i will use f number comma s number variable i will declare this okay with the help of char data type i will declare one variable that is op then i will use public access specifier because see in my class diagram i have used minus symbol for private and plus symbol for public just remember this okay so first of all we have to define get values and then get op function so i'll define that okay so i'll define void get values okay this is without parameter inside this function member function i will write just i'll write c out okay I'll write c out enter first number write this statement here which is written in the or which is already given in the problem statement so enter first number comma operator comma second number okay that's all then i'll take the input that is of f number first then operator second and then s number okay so get values has been completed now now the next function is required that is of character type so cap get op so to return the uh, it will do the just one task that is it will return the operator values and use return and then op why this is required because i want to return return operator symbol to use in my switch case there okay in the main function okay so after this i will define other function that is some function for doing the addition so inside some function i will declare uh, one variable that is answer and i will initialize or i will assign the some addition formula that is f number plus s number okay and then i will display the value of this variable that is answer here and i will type and n okay for new line character after that now the task is very easy now so i will copy and paste this code and just i will replace this sum with sub for subtraction and this plus with minus rest of the things are same again i will do the same thing copy and paste the code i will replace with this sum with mul and this plus with multiplication symbol again i will copy and paste the same code and i will replace sum with div and this plus with division symbol okay so that we have done for this arithmetic operation functions we have defined here a function we have de defined to get the operator symbol and one function we have defined to get the first number operator and then second number data okay now our class diagram we have already uh, we have completely used our class diagram here in our class definition okay so now i go to main function because main function is responsible to call all these things whichever we define inside the class so in main function first important task that we have to perform that is first of all we'll create an object okay but after that i need one variable that is choice because here i am going to use switch case and that switch case i want to repeat a number of times 
okay so when i want to stop it that i will decide with the help of this choice variable okay so here i will use to while loop because i want to iterate my uh, all the operations n number of times until i press no button or until i press n key so inside this i'll use switch case okay okay but before this in do i want to do one important thing okay that is first i want to call get values function why get values because i want to take input here and that i am to repeat every time whenever i press yes or y key so after that i need operator so again i will do what i will clear i will call the get op function here which will give me the you will to return the character value so i will use here opr variable i will use one opr variable and in that opr variable character opr variable i will i will store the uh, the return symbol of operator that there okay so here i will use opr in switch case and inside switch case i will define first case for addition and i will call the sum function i will call the sum function here then i will use break keyboard again i will define second case here for subtraction by using subtraction symbol here why i am giving here colon because i want to match this character here with this character okay so that i am using here character okay single quote so i will call sub function and then break keyboard okay then define third case for multiplication symbol and then i will call mul function then break keyword to get out of that case okay then case for division symbol and then again with the help of c object i will call it okay then break statement and finally i will write a default statement okay if, uh, if these four cases does not match then it will display valid operation okay so this will display there but after this outside this switch case i want to do what i have to take one input again okay so i'll take one input and display one thing that is to another because i want to continue i want to ask user that do you want to uh, continue this loop or not or this operation okay so that i will ask here okay so that will be asked by the user okay so user will give the answer here with the help of choice variable okay so choice is of uh, character type so that i can use here and i can use now to okay i have used to so i'll use here y okay so in y i'll give the condition choice equal to equal to y is small y and then choice equal to equal to capital y either i press y small y or capital y it should terminate it okay it should continue okay otherwise it will it will directly terminate this loop it will directly terminate the operation of this loop okay and finally i'll write here return zero now see we will check whether we have missed something or not okay so everything is clear now here okay all the okay so okay so everything is clear now so better way we can compile it now so just see in code blocks you can compile your code with the help of build option now here I'll press this button okay so no year error has been found in this program so now I can run this run button now you can see it is showing the same thing here that is enter first number operator and then second number so I'll enter first five then I'll enter plus symbol and then I'll enter three and then I'll press enter now you can see it is showing answer eight 
addition is performing here and then after that I will press Y and then enter again it will ask for the first number so I will enter here suppose 6 minus suppose 3 so it is displaying the subtraction so again I will press Y button and then press enter button so I will do one thing 7 into suppose 2 so it will display 7 into 2 14 again I will press Y and I will write here suppose 5 divided by 2 ok I will do the division operation now here press enter so it is showing 2.5 and now I again press uh, Y button ok Y key and then press enter and I will try to use any other operator here let's say I will use uh, remainder of modulus operator so now I press enter now it will display invalid operation why it is showing invalid operation because the operator is not matching with our cases and finally if I press N key here it will terminate the loop so this way you can implement your basic calculator you can do the assignment number 5 of group A okay that's very basic assignment so we'll stop here so if you are heavy if you are having any doubt regarding this assignment you can post it in the comments video comments and also don't forget to subscribe my channel share this channel with your friends so that they can get the right videos of OPL assignments okay so thank you so much for watching my video bye bye